key countries in the hemisphere are potential flashpoints in 205. 205 leadership tries to rebuild the Palestinian Authority and to counter terrorist groups. I can assure you that uh, I know of no instances where the intelligence community is outside the law on uh, this, where they've complied. As I've said publicly before, and I know for a fact, the torture is not, uh, it's not productive. That's not professional uh, interrogation. We don't do torture. They're on the joint mission of making America safer. We all want interrogation of people who are captured. We want the intelligence which we can get from them, and we want it to be reliable. But we also want to protect the men and women who are representing this nation, and that is not advanced if we engage in torture or abusive practices. We've been told that over and over again by our military, by the CIA, and it seems to me you, we need you to clearly reaffirm that for us here this morning. I, I reaffirm that. Uh, All right. Our reporting at Al-Qaeda will say that uh, just about everybody who's been watching understands that Iran has been meddling in, in the affairs of Iraq in the interests of uh, Iran. Um, I would also say that uh, how that is going to work out in the future is a matter of some concern and will be attended to. I would also say that Iran, in my view, is one of the few very obvious sponsors of state terrorism. I would say Hezbollah is a funded terrorist organization by the sovereign state of Iran, and they ought to stop it. To help a DNI marshal the efforts and resources of the domestic and international security forces. 